guys so i am going to do a wig review on this wig that was sent to me by samsbeauty.com it's by the stylist um impeccable blunt and it's in the color of 1b so that's the card um it has combs on each side in the front um, one on the left side one on the right side and then it has a comb in the back and then it also has adjustable straps in the back as well um, this is my first wig first real synthetic wig anyway so we're gonna see how this goes look at that part y'all beautiful so right now I'm just putting on the wig I did put on a natural um, stocking cap so you will see it like for some reason in the beginning of the part the color looks a little brighter which was throwing the part off so you will see later in the video um, it doesn't look like that anymore because I ended up switching to a black stocking cap so I'm just combing through I haven't done anything to it um, this is just how it looks straight out the box okay so combing through this hair I did get some shedding it was not a lot but I did get some shedding when combing through the hair so right here I'm just using some scissors to cut the front of the lace off of the wig you want to make sure to cut as close as possible but please be sure not to cut into the hair because I'm sure that will cause a lot of shedding so just be very careful when you do this process um, because you do not want the hair to shed a whole lot so just cut as close as possible take your time it doesn't take too long it maybe took me about three minutes but of course I sped the video up so just take your time and then it'll look pretty much natural when you do cut off the lace. Okay, so this is the clip where I have on the black stocking cap. It's a major difference. So I'm just going to use a foundation in my color. I'm using the MAC. I think it's the NW43, I think. And I'm just using it to put into the part. You want to start off at the beginning and blend it into your forehead so it can look um, smooth and have like a, a good transition. So you're just going to smooth it into your forehead first and then you'll start to go backwards all the way through the part if you don't want to take it back as far then you don't have to i like the whole part the curved part so i'm just taking it all the way back do not use a lot of product you're just going to take the brush and then just blend 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 i mean it's just like you're putting on foundation for yourself you don't want it to look patchy so you're just going to blend it all the way through the part So right here I'm just using some powder in the color dark by MAC just to set the foundation that I put into the part and I know most people you like to use concealer in the part but I don't because in my past experiences it's always looked too fake so I would rather use my own color. So here I'm just using a black eyeshadow it doesn't matter the brand just to clean up the part um, where I did get foundation and powder on the actual hair so I'm just going to take that same brush. And I did wipe it off before I started putting the black on and dip it into the black eyeshadow and then basically put it on the hair where I did put the foundation and the powder to clean it up and make it look more natural. So I'm just going to turn around to show y'all that it does have some movement. It's not stiff. 
So when I first tried this wig on, I did fall in love with it. So I will give it a 9 out of 10 only because I'm not big on synthetic hair. But it is something for an everyday look um, or just a quick pop out. But I do thank you guys for watching. I'll catch y'all in my next one. Bye.